guys, I know Review Tech likes to say that I'm painting false narratives and that I'm saying lies and stuff about him, but I'm not blind. And I'm not the only one who sees what's going on. Mudo is actually asked by a viewer his thoughts on Review Tech USA's downfall. Dude, you know it's bad when big YouTubers are now starting to say stuff about Review Tech USA. You see, people tried to label me as a detractor and a troll channel when all I was doing was clapping back and defending myself. But let's listen to what Muda has to say. Let's listen. Would do a collapse on Review Tech USA. That guy is just so fucking depressing, bro. That guy is just so fucking depressing, bro. What a fucking burial right off the bat. Like this was a Johnny Cage split legged punch in the nuts right off the fucking bat. Let's go on. That guy's whole life right now is yikes. <laughs> just not good. That guy's whole life right now is yikes. And and. I don't know what it is. It's like the last few months, guys. If you've been watching the channel, this guy has just become unhinged. Now he's going scorched earth. If you saw the messages on his Discord while back doing a call to action to dig up dirt on anybody that has anything to say about him, or as he calls us, these assholes. Yeah, he, he wants to say that he wasn't asking for private info, but when you're telling a Discord dig up dirt, they don't know better. Those people, they're called Discordian for a reason. They, they know no bounds. They dox. They look in privacy information and stuff like that. So, anyways, big ol' yikes right here. Literally described as yikes by Muda. Yeah, I don't know, man. Review Tech USA is weird. Like, I remember, like, he invited me to his, like, show one time. He seemed, like, relatively fine. And then, like, in the last three fucking four months... Like, something to do with his editor, and he fired him and everything. I don't do So, here's the thing, though. Yeah. Ever since the JKB situation happened with his editor, that caused a huge backlash against him. But it wasn't because he fired his editor. It was because of the way he's acted ever since it. Now, I've covered it extensively. Kino Casino has covered it. We've even seen JKB talk about it. Uh, Smash JT. Various other people. It wasn't the fact that he fired people that was a problem. It's his actions and what he says and what he does where one minute he's cool, next minute he's not, next minute he's accusing people of leaking private Facebook messages. He's not all there. And trust me, I'm not mocking his kids when I say that the best thing for him to do is to get off the internet take care of his mental health, and take care of his children. That's not joking. That's not bringing kids. That's not attacking anybody. Just go. It's a blanket statement. Do you want me to say just hang out with your family instead? Does that make you feel better, Review Tech? Get off the internet and go hang out with your family. Okay? Saying take care of your family doesn't mean that you're a bad father. But somehow he, he translates that. And he's just a cocksucker overall. Now let's continue do a podcast i did a, like a like one of his shows with him he was never on our podcast though so. um but it's like i remember like something went off with his fucking editor like he wasn't paying the editor something went off i remember for a little bit it was like yeah you know i felt bad for rich because he had a he, you know, i mean initially maybe yeah it was it was you know all you know poor rich but dude his behavior his behavior since then it's just been to the point where he's getting not just buried by other YouTube channels, but his own audience, which we're going to look here. He's taking the last week or so off. He might stream today on July 4th, but he's taking the last week or so off. Last week or two, he's just been completely a hinge. He was mocking me about my book I made and looking for dirt and watching my matches, thinking he was getting a gotcha on me, but he ended up getting me brand new fans. Uh, he called Smash JT a rapist. He was saying bad things again about JKB. Uh, Local Live absolutely decimated him. Like, they completely killed him, like 110%. But, uh, yeah, let's watch this. You know, it was like kid was like in the hospital or something it wasn't good uh, yeah and, uh, i feel sorry about that i i no joking about a kid's health or anything and anything that i've ever said any capacity so you know obviously i felt a little you know i i think in most situations anybody's like oh you know you wish the best but then he just went off that fucking weird deep end that's to say the fucking least weird deep end 
I ain't care about his fuck. You know, the whole thing with DK Oldies, like, it's fine. I felt like in, in his situation, he was one of the people that really pushed a million videos on DK Oldie. And I was like... Oh, he definitely did. That was his bread and butter, which is so funny that he's like... Eric, you're making incessant videos about me. Remember when we went on Locale, he was like, the incessant videos. What about all the incessant videos you make on DK Oli's? Like, like, what is so weird is that people like to criticize and critique others, but when it happens to them, they cry about it. Mercante does the same thing. Cal Calandra does the same thing. Review Tech does it. They all get butt hurt. But Review Tech USA made so many Soldier Boys, so many freaking DK Oli's, so many Quantum TV, you know, and he can't handle people giving him negative feedback, negative criticism. Come on. Really, like, the fucking worst sin imaginable, though. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the thing about, like, the thing about, like, lol cow stuff is, you know, the moment... Because he would always just, like, what really irks me about, like, a little bit with the DSP stuff is he was kind of just... He was kind of like shitting on like people like fucking DSP all the time. And it's like, oh, that's all he does on his live streams, man. He literally calls people like me talentless hacks, but he'll spend hours high off his gourd, a logging DSP and sitting there having the goal to tell DSP what he needs to do to not kill his career. Do you guys ever see that video? What not to do to ruin your career? He literally is step by step following the steps to ruin your own career. It's like he, he purposely made that video for future rich to not listen to. Like, I don't understand. DSP, he's not, like, I don't even think that DSP is, like, as big of a lol cow in this series as, like, fucking, honestly, like, like, were you tech, the way that he was acting in the last three months, it's like, bro, it's more of a lol cow arc on your end, dude. Damn, that is a complete felting right there. He literally just said, the way that Review Tech USA has been acting the last three months, he's more of a locale than DSP. Has no, never has truer words been spoken in my life. Now, let's go look at his comments. I'm curious. Let's look at the comments for Mudahar. <laughs> so right here off the bat, somebody says, honestly, part of me feels bad for Rich and part of me doesn't. It's obvious dude's in a real messy spot, but it's also obvious he's not really doing anything to make it better. I feel for him. For having a really sick kid, I can't imagine how that feels and all the stress that comes with it. But when it comes to everything, that's it is control. He's not improving on. I just can't feel bad for him. Crazy seeing someone you used to watch go absolutely bonkers insane. I wonder if Rich is going to freak out at Muda now. Oh, absolutely, 110%. Uh, if Rich gets wind of that, he's going to freak out just like he did with Locale. He freaked out over Wings telling him to get off the internet. And Wings criticizing him for that i guess video clip where his mother or his ex comes to the door and asks for help to take care of the kids and he says i'm streaming right now go away like we're just critiquing what you're doing and saying online brother now continuing on um review tech he hasn't streamed in about a week a week six days ago so pretty much a week look at his dislike ratio so he has 608 likes to 847 dislikes and keep in mind this is on a stream where he's addressing allegations that were thrown out about the pc he gave jay so allegedly and i'm not saying this is confirmed allegedly there's key loggers and back access like back end access and uh jay's bank was hacked and he's trying to figure out what's going on jay took some time off as a as a result as well because let's be honest this has gone way too far if somebody's contacting and getting a hold of his bank account right so this is on a video a stream where he's addressing this it's gone that far to where even when he's making a statement clearing himself of accusations people are still going to be disliking him that's how much damage he's done and i get it rich once you start going down this path where you feel you can't win for losing and everybody's against you and stuff, it's tough to fucking climb out. I want to see you climb out of it. I want to see you climb out of it, Rich. Please. But in order to do that, you have to take time off. And it's great that you took six days off of streaming. I honestly want you to enjoy your 4th of July. So I hope you don't live stream. I hope you don't live stream. Just, just spend it with your family. That's all I'm saying, dude. Stop attacking people. Stop 
Stop being unhinged. Stop stop being spiteful. All right, now you can see his comment section is saying, uh, Rich not paying J equals Rich spiral to descent. YouTube career felted. Lower than wings and boogie and mom in hospital. Rich, was it worth not paying J? He says... He's not a piece of shit, yet was the same one seething, crying, threatening Jay's livelihood, wanting Jay to be homeless and never work again. Richard, garbage, and it's believable you hacked or at least gave somebody access to the PC, considering that was the same PC you're going to give DSP. You should have thought about your mom slash parents before letting go of Jay and letting your channel go. See, he's just getting fucking torn up. Review Tech DSP. Time for Rich to get a real job soon. Time for you to get back on stream and give us some milk cow. This guy went to shit. Um, zero ill will towards any of your family genuinely wish them well so I mean there's a combination of, of people that are just giving him shit being brutal being ruthless and, and it goes down all his videos I mean look at this the one literally talking about the doctor disrespect admittance where he made the statement saying he was inappropriate with a kid look how much this is dis disliked 442 likes to 981 dislikes. So even when he's talking about somebody that has been inappropriate of minors, he still gets dislike ratioed immensely. And that's also because in this stream, he was acting like a prick towards me. Look, look, he was watching some of my streams, some of my matches, thinking it was a gotcha on me, that he was going to embarrass me and, and make me ashamed of, of my wrestling career. Like, he thinks he can embarrass me on that. He's not. I'm not seething. Uh, you can see he's just going on about all sorts of stuff. And and he still can't win. And you can see people are saying, being into minors is something Rich and Dr. Disrespect both have in common. Uh, damn bro, chill. We know you're trash. It's unbelievable how much of a wrestling mark Rich is. You're my new favorite cow. I was getting a bit bored of Phil, but you replaced him now. You're 10 times easier to trigger and emotionally manipulate than Phil. You see, everybody's just completely burying him. Rich getting crushed by 8-Bit Eric, man. Ha, ha, ha. I, I, dude. Like, I, I put a cork in it. I think he needs to take a break in order to redeem himself. And I don't want to see anybody fucking fail. Now, you can see this, this stream went over well. This one's called Working with the Devil. And this one was his first like scorched earth stream that he did after he like told his discord to dox people. Essentially, he didn't say those exact words, but dig up dirt. We all know what that means and everything else that he tried to say about people. Look at it. 348 likes to 1.2 K dislikes. And this is when he was going scorched earth thinking he looked good in all this. He, he called smash JT a rapist. Um, he was, uh, talking about Nick Ricada. Like, like when you're getting ratioed on a video where you're talking about Nick Ricardo and you're still getting dislike bombed, you're done, dude. Look, he thought it was a gotcha having Andy Worski in like a diaper or underwear. Um, this is the first one where he, he played my match where I was kicking a midget. He made me look like a million fucking bucks. So thank you so much, Review Tech USA. But you can see people are saying, wow, how someone can hit rock bottom in a fast period of time? Shame. How to ruin your YouTube career. Over to you, Rich. I've been a subscriber for years on your main channel. Why don't you stick to what made you on YouTube? This drama shit's killing you in the channel. Talk about the news. Review random tech and maybe start a podcast about the gaming and tech industry. I understand why the fuck you're going down this rat hole. So people are literally, literally begging him to do anything but watch DSP and do what he's doing. Like when your audience is basically begging you. And it's not just limited to his live streams either. Even his clips. This one right here is 41 second clip. Look, 54 likes to 193 dislikes. You're my new favorite cow. Take a break and actually be a father. Why are you deleting VODs, dickers? You blew it. Oh my God, still reacting to DSP? Your content's lazy and you'll never get anywhere in the future. And this is a guy who called me, JKB, Smash JT, Kino, all this talentless hacks. But apparently he can't look in the mirror. And Muda totally buried his ass. I, I just had to laugh about it. I just had to because this is like a train wreck. You cannot not look at it. And he thinks he's absolved and exonerated. He literally said he was exonerated because 
Somebody said he wasn't a bad father. Nobody ever said you were a bad father. When we say get off the internet and go take care of your family, that just means go spend time with them. I'm not mocking anybody. I'm not low-blowing. You clearly are not in the right place right now to where even Muda is seeing it on his video. Exactly what he fucking said. Are you going to yell at him too and call him a talentless hack? That remains to be seen. Anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't.